Hello Leos! Welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing the love and romance reading for you for the month of February in honor of Valentine's Day. So I'm doing the Celtic Cross spread here and I feel that um, it's the most appropriate spread regarding you know love and romance because we're only dealing with one aspect of your life so I, I think this is just um, a nice time to bust this out. Alright so let's start it. get started. <clears throat> For the root of the matter, or this is basically the crowning energy or the um, surrounding situation uh, about your love and romance sector, I do have the Three of Pentacles and this is showing up in the reverse position. So um, this is a situation in which you have to build the foundation for your love life. For those of you who are in a committed relationship, um, this is all about building the foundation, the stable foundation in order for the relationship to progress to the next level. It's also about um, you know having the, the stable base from which you can establish a long-term relationship. It's showing up in the reverse position and you know with the three people there, it's indicative of too many inputs, too many people meddling in your love life. Um, people from both sides, from you, your side and from your partner's side. It's also a situation in which, um, if for those who are single, um, you're not actively, you know, um, you're not interested in anything long term at this point. Therefore, you're dating around and you, you know, you're, you're just trying to do like date casually, which is fine. Just make sure you know the other party knows that as well. So the advice, um, the what is crossing you in this situation is the King of Pentacles, and with this energy, it's indicative of somebody who is very driven, who's very career oriented, and they might not have time to fully invest in this situation in um, in building you know that partnership and in building uh, love and romance and basically pursuing anything long term in the romance department. So for those coupled and single, um, I think at this point you are building your career rather than your love relationships, okay? Um, in the past position, we have the Ten of Pentacles. And um, it's a situation in which, you know, um, everything is very incredibly stable. So you have financial abundance, you have um, an emotional base you have a very strong family structure so for those of you who are in long-term established relationships I feel that you know everything is built up and at this point you feel that you don't need to put in the work anymore um, I would advise you against that just because you know naturally you have to reinvigorate the relationship every now and then and you also have to bring in elements of newness and passion into existing relationships um, so don't take it for granted okay for those who are single, <clears throat> the same thing applies. If you're just casually dating and you're happy with that um, because you know you're more interested in um, your home base and you're you're just like you're happy being on your own and you feel that everything in your life is going well, so you're just casually dating. That's fine, but again, you know, be honest with your um, potential partners. That way, they know what they're getting themselves into, and you know. That way, they, if they are looking for a serious long-term relationship, they know that um, they can't expect that from you. So honesty is best. In terms of what's coming in, I do have the Hermit card here. He is showing up in the reverse position. So um, this is a situation where this deals with introspection as well. So being able to be on your own, and also um, taking time off to reflect back on your past actions, on your past relationships, and on your life, okay? So the Hermit is also a very Virgo in energy. So for those of you who are single, I feel um, a Virgo person coming into your life. However, um, he or she is showing up in the reverse position. So I would say this person right now, emotionally, they might not be... Um, entirely stable emotionally okay so um, they might need to do some soul searching that they actually haven't taken out um, enough time to do for themselves so getting into relationships with this person might be a little bit problematic and then for those of you who are in coupled relationships um, I just feel that you know in the process of um, investing 
you know, heavily in your work and basically neglecting your foundation of your relationship and neglecting your relationship, it might be a little problematic. So you need to take the time, turn this guy around and, you know, re-examine what you're doing here and re-examine the things that are important to you. So obviously you do want that stable home life and you do want to, if you do want to work and uh, rebuild that um, relationship and you know to in reintroduce romance and passion into your relationship now is a good time for you to stop pursuing um, your career and take some time off for your partner and you know if anything it, it's just a, an important gesture to do every now and then not only for Valentine's Day but you know every day of the, the week just um, show the people in your life that you um, you appreciate them, okay? I, I think it's just the decent thing to do, all right? So um, just try to do that. Take some time off and invest into this relationship. All right, in terms of your aspirations, what you're hoping out of this situation, I do have the Eight of Swords in the reverse position, which is very good. Um, the Eight of Swords is indicative of um, a situation where somebody is very guarded, is very cautious about um, trying new things and also cautious about their in the people in their environment. So um, for those of you <clears throat> who are um, coupled, I just feel that, you know, money worries and just, you know, trying to pursue work might be a little detrimental to your relationship. I mean, it is in the reverse position. So at this point, you feel a little more carefree. So which is a great thing to do. But um, this new found, th this breakthrough, I would say, this breakthrough in which you actually feel comfortable, you feel like, um, you know, you trust your, your spouse or your significant other or your partner in that relationship, that's great energy. And But make sure there's an emotional connection as well, okay? And um, for those who are single, um, I just feel that, you know, in the past, you've been really, really guarded about the people in your midst, and um, you're very cautious about relationships in general and this is actually a good month for you to have that breakthrough because it's actually coming in here pretty strongly that um, you're hoping to to land that relationship where you can basically open up but at the same time um, you know emotional connections with others take a really long time so if you're just casually dating just know that um, whatever time you invest in the relationship, that's what you're going to get out. So, you know, quality over quantity. So um, take the time off and invest your energy and invest your emotions in as few people as you can. That way you can have more meaningful, more lasting relationships, okay? In terms of um, your subconscious, this is an energy that is affecting this situation that you're not totally aware of. This is the Six of Cups and um, it's a very playful childlike energy. It can also be very karmic in that um, people people from your past are the ones that uh, know you really well and are the ones that can give you that emotional comfort that you need. So um, in this whole situation, okay, for those who are coupled up, um, you might want to regress to this time of um, this time of like uh, where everyone is carefree, where you're not bogged down by responsibility and work and trying to maintain this nice extravagant house, you know things like that. And then for those of you who are single, you really, really want that deep union with another person. You want like a very carefree but at the same time emotionally enriching relationship. And like I said, it's not going to come about if you just settle for casual dating. All right. So keep that in mind too, um, because I, I know deep, deep down, you um, you are very loyal to family, and you want to expand your base, and you 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 really feel you know safest with your family members. But make sure your family members don't impinge upon your rights by interfering in your current relationships. And those who are single, make sure it's the same way. Um, don't let your um, your families, you know, don't let their uh, inputs, their opinions affect the people that you date because at the end of the day, the people you date, you're stuck with them. Your family can come and go as they please, you know, but then you're the one that has to deal with the people that you date. So make sure others 
of family inputs don't affect too much like don't let your family members meddle too much in your love affair I, I feel that it's um uh, yeah that's just good advice in general too many inputs is, is never a good thing okay so in terms of advice from the universe regarding this whole situation we do have the four of pentacles it's in the reverse position so the four of pentacles is a very stable energy but um in the reverse position it is also a um an energy in which we are holding on way too tightly to the things around us especially material things and things that bring us emotional comfort so I feel you know coupled with this six of cups energy um, there might be people from the past that we're afraid to let go of or there might be situations um, where you know we seek material comfort over emotional comfort okay so it's important to balance the two but at the same time it's very important this month to let all of that go and find something that is a little more um, emotionally enriching and you do have that at your disposal with the Queen of Cups here in your external environment so <clears throat> for those of you who are um, in, coupled up or in solid relationships or who are married I feel that this is the month where it is essential that um, you take some time off for your partner okay and I feel that your partner is going to be a little more demanding of your commitment and of your energy. So I, I see that coming in, but you know, in a loving way, not in a whiny, kind of uh, insecure way. So that, that's great energy. For those of you who are going out and dating again, there are actually very, very, very beautiful potential partners. They're really emotionally nurturing. They really care about you. They have a splendid hearts and um, they they're very loving people so you're going to encounter a lot of water types and um, it's interesting because I was doing this reading for cancer cancer or water sign is encountering a lot of fiery energy um, whereas you know you are encountering a lot of water signs so maybe you guys should pair up um, but I, I just feel that the people in your external environment, the people that you will actually come into contact with, that you might even consider dating long term, they have a very, very loving heart. And I feel that, you know, Leos too are extremely loyal and um, you're good to everybody. And that actually shows, that actually is, that's a very attractive quality. And um, the, um, the really loving water signs will really like that about you so um, you know you're going to get a very positive reception especially from water signs okay so be aware of that but also keep in mind that you are fire they are water so um, while opposites do attract there are going to be some problems initially to work through so just bear with it okay um, if you happen to meet a water sign this month let me know as well but um they seem like a total keeper because it's just very nice energy okay but depending on your compatibility I just feel like you know you have a good heart they have a good heart and everyone is um, completely honest here okay so in terms of your hopes and fears okay so this is an interesting card this is traditionally it's the four of ones um, it's traditionally the marriage card it is in the reverse position so I feel that a lot of you Leo's might be a little bit of a commitment foe for those who are single you might be afraid of commitment because um, you are very I guess you are very in a way kind of bound and kind of obligated to your nuclear family you know your your mom your dad your siblings so that to you that's your your clan that is your family so it's very hard for you to um, think of family as any other thing that is you know aside from your your parents home and your your siblings so it's really hard for you to establish your own family 
um, with new potential, you know, partners or anybody you're thinking about dating long term, and you you want to like move house and establish that home base. So um, you're kind of hesitant about that. Even for those in long term commitments, you know, you you do want that um, family ties. You want your family to be expanded rather than you know sectioning off your the person you're dating and then transposing them into a different household. So in terms of that, there might be a little bit of commitment problem. And then for those who are single and casually dating, I think you're kind of uh, afraid of taking things to the next level too. Um, and then there are situations in which, you know, you're also afraid of like divorces and things like that. And um, so I'm just going to go out on a limb here and, and say that um, you're, you, for most of you, You've been working really hard to build up your financial base. I mean, up to this point, you're very, very, you know, financially uh, stable. So you have a lot going for yourself. Therefore, entering that um, committed relationship or having, you know, marriage and things like that, um, it's a little anxiety-inducing because uh, you're afraid, like, you're thinking long-term at this point, and you're thinking, what if we get divorced? You know, the assets will be divided, and... I will only have half of what I have now. So, um, you know, while it's important to think long term, and divorces do happen frequently, it is also, um, <clears throat> if you're with the right person, um, making this leap should not be a huge problem, okay? So really think about that. So um, just really ask yourself if you're even with the right person to begin with because... Um, I just see, like, a, a, a little bit of anxiety here regarding, you know, commitment, all right? As for your outcome, I have a really nice card. It's the Knight of Swords. So for those of you who are um, committed, okay, the Knight of Swords is a very swift energy. He's very honest as well, but, um, you know, he, his honesty can be a little jarring sometimes. Um, so in a committed relationship, I feel that... Um, you and your partner might actually bicker over differences in opinions and differences in lifestyle and you might bicker about how to move forward if you want to um, you know commit to this person or if you want to keep the status quo so I feel that um, there's a, going to be a little bit of a dispute regarding that okay and with this three energy coming in pretty strongly there's another element I, I'm not saying anybody is like unfaithful or anything but I feel like too many people are meddling in your relationship and I feel that it's mainly family just too many people who have no business in your relationship are basically in your business so um, there might be disputes regarding that um, it's nothing serious, so I wouldn't, you know, it is not serious, so don't worry too much about it, but um, it can get annoying. Um, for those who are single and looking, there is a prominent um, air sign in your mist that is coming in sometime around this month. And um, Knight of Swords are air signs um, indicative of Aquarius, Gemini, and Libras. And this is a very fast, unexpected, and a very welcoming uh, energy. Fire and air mixes very well, so this is a very compatible energy as well. Um, you have a splendid Valentine's Day. Please like, share, subscribe, and let me know how this plays out for you as well, okay? So um, I'll see you again next week for the weekly uh, tarot reading. So thanks for watching.